Two young brothers, Alex and Daniel Ladomes, witness a man being killed on their Aunt Helene's wedding night. Thirty years later, Alex returns home to marry his fiancée, Grace, who is excited to finally have a family. On their wedding night, Alex informs Grace about the family tradition where newcomers must play a game. The family consists of Alex, his alcoholic brother Daniel, and his drug-addicted sister Emily, along with their parents Tony and Becky. Also Daniel's snobbish wife Charity, Emily's whiny husband Fitch, and Aunt Helene. It's revealed that their ancestor, Victor Ladomes, struck a deal with a man named LaBelle, promising wealth in exchange for adhering to a peculiar tradition. Grace selects a card at random, and the game they must play is written on it. When Grace selects a card labeled, Hide and Seek, she unknowingly triggers a deadly game where she hides while the Ludomes family arms themselves with antique weapons to find her. When Grace sees Emily accidentally kill one of the maids, thinking it was her, Alex admits that the hide and seek game is designed for the family to kill the chosen person. They believe that if Grace stays alive until dawn, the entire family will perish, as agreed with LaBelle. Alex had this truth from Grace because he knew she would leave him if she found out. The last time someone drew that card was 30 years ago, resulting in the death of Helene's husband. Shocked, scared, and angry, Grace becomes determined to survive. Daniel, disillusioned with the violent family tradition, finds her and gives her a head start. To prevent his family from tracking Grace, Alex destroys the security monitors before being subdued by Daniel and Tony. Grace ran away from the big house and found refuge in the barn, but then Emily's little boy, Georgie, shot her in the hand. Enraged, she knocked Georgie unconscious, but stumbled into a pit full of old bodies from previous sacrifices. Despite sustaining more injuries, she managed to climb out, only to be chased by the butler, Stevens. In a struggle, she fought off Stevens and fled in his car, but it was soon reported stolen and remotely deactivated. Stevens caught up and tranquilized her. As they drove back, Grace regained consciousness and attacked Stevens, causing the car to crash. But then, she gets caught again and tied up on a pentagon-shaped symbol while her family gets ready to sacrifice her. They drink from a special cup but start throwing up blood. Daniel saves Grace by giving her something that makes them sick but not deadly. However, Charity shoots Daniel in the throat, and he dies from bleeding. Grace is grateful to Daniel for helping her and fights off Charity and Tony, accidentally starting a fire with an oil lamp. Becky assaults Grace, pushing her to her breaking point. In a fit of rage, Grace retaliates, using LaBelle's wooden game box to fatally beat Becky. Meanwhile, Alex discovers Daniel's lifeless body before encountering Grace and his own mother. Realizing Grace's loss of trust and the inevitable end of their relationship, Alex takes action to restrain her. As the group succumbs to despair, they embrace Satan, with Alex poised to strike Grace. In a dramatic turn, Grace maneuvers herself, taking the blow to her shoulder and breaking free. As dawn approaches without any expected outcome, the family realizes their rituals were in vain, rendering their gruesome actions pointless. But then, Helene suddenly bursts. One after another, the rest of the family bursts into bloody chaos. Alex begs for Grace's forgiveness because he's scared, but she refuses, and then he bursts too. As the mansion burns down, Grace spots the ghost of LaBelle, finally understanding that the story was true. When the police show up, Grace sits on the porch, worn out and shocked, her wedding dress stained red with blood, smoking a cigarette. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to watch more of these videos.